Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a, a human body system that can be most confusing for students and it's called the endocrine system. The endocrine system is going to be um, a certain collection of organs or glands or hormones that are going to help communicate one part of a body with another. So what they're going to do, or I'm sorry, the endocrine system is a collection of glands and hormones that are going to kind of control different parts of your body um, and not necessarily things that you might think of controlling. Um, the endocrine system is going to kind of work by itself, okay, without your input from your brain or your spinal cord. Um, but it's going to be a collection of glands or hormones that are going to regulate growth and development. Hormones communicate different information to different organs. So they communicate information to organs and cells. We have actually already talked about a hormone without you guys knowing it was a hormone. The example is insulin. You may remember from the digestive system that insulin is going to regulate our blood sugar. Insulin is actually a hormone that communicates that information to your cells that says, hey, we need to lower our blood sugar, start using up more and more sugar for cell respiration. There are a few glands that we need to talk about, the pituitary, the thyroid, the adrenal, and the pineal. The pituitary is going to be the main gland that's actually found in your brain. It's going to control all other glands through hormones. We have the thyroid next, which is actually found in your neck, and it's going to control things that you not that you don't consciously control. So if you think of your heart rate, or if you think of breathing, or you think of um, what else, your body temperature, those things you don't consciously control, but they're going to be controlled through your thyroid gland without you knowing it. So it's found in the neck. And it's going to control your breathing, your heart rate, and your body temperature. Next up, we have the adrenal glands. Um, these are found on our kidneys. And the adrenal glands actually produce a hormone called adrenaline. And adrenaline is what gets you really, really excited about things. And then lastly, we have the pineal gland. The pineal gland produces a hormone called melatonin, which actually helps you fall asleep. So as soon as the lights go off in your bedroom, your pineal gland is going to start secreting melatonin, and then sooner or later that melatonin is going to build up and you're just going to go ahead and fall asleep. When you wake up in the morning, that melatonin production stops because we don't want to be falling asleep during the day. Those are all our endocrine notes. Um, not too many today. Go ahead and get started on your station.